Sarah and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my hair so wavy and pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go through how I make my hair wavy and um, how I maintain it. I can keep it like this for um, two to three days with very little um, upkeep. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and don't forget to press that notification bell. But yeah, I hope you enjoy my how I make my hair so beautiful and wavy. These are what I'll be using today. They're called the Bedhead Wave Artists. Um, I could not find these in the UK whatsoever. In fact, they're only available in the US. So I got them from Amazon.com, um, which they do obviously ship out to the UK. And obviously it comes like that. And then I just got an adapter. Um, compared, these are the cheapest ones I got. I think even they're like twenty dollars, including shipping. Basically, they cost me about twelve pound, which I don't think was. I think it was nine pounds for these, and then the shipping was just a couple of pounds. So I think it, yeah, it cost me about twelve pounds, and I don't think that's expensive whatsoever because. If I looked on Argos or anything like that, they'd come up at like 15 to 30 odd, or sometimes even more. Um, and I absolutely love these ones. So I'm going to plug them in to get them warmed up. Also, I recommend using a heat mat as well. So whilst they are on, I put them um, quite high. I put them up all the way high and then just kind of roll them down a couple of times. That's the only downside I say about these because they don't actually have a, like my straighteners for example, they give me the exact temperature um, of what they are, but these don't. Um, and that's obviously the only downside. So this is my hair when it's naturally dried. It's already got a bit of a wave to it. Um, but not as much obviously what that gives. So I'm just going to brush my hair. I like bedhead things. Um, if you go to B&M, there's loads of bedhead um, range. So they've like got shampoo, conditioners, um, hair care. So I actually use the shampoo and conditioner, which I really, really like. I'm going to put it through. I'm using some, got to be Guardian Angel. It's 202 um, heat protector. I like to get a high one, a 220, sorry. Um, just because a lot of them only go up to like say 200 so I like to get one that is a little bit high just brush that in I am kind of going to be doing it in sections but I'm not going to be doing it like if I had to sit down and do my hair in sections it would take me forever so I do but I do it in a different way so that's half my hair. I always start with the bigger side first so it's kind of calmed down and that side's more probably big. <laughs> so they're yep, they're nice and warm now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut my hair off from about my ear. And then just oh, I need some more clips. I haven't got any big clips. And then what I do after I've done this section is I just flip that section back and then just keep going more further, further up. And the only reason I do this is because I do like the wave to start quite high. Um, instead of it being halfway down here because it's quite a, a obvious dint in your hair. Um, it is very like sharp but then you'll find, um, give it a bit longer and it will drop over the slightly so it's not as sharp. So the curls turn really nice and the curls last absolutely ages. Um, what I'm going to actually show you is I'm going to show you what my hair's like tomorrow as well and show you what I do um, for my hair routine in the morning when I've obviously got it already curly um, and I don't redo it. Um, sometimes it lasts me three days so it'll come last me today, tomorrow and then the third day um, but sometimes I do have to go over a little bit on the third day um, but it does last a long time and obviously it doesn't mean I have to recurl my hair all the time and it means I can just leave my hair be. I'm not using as much heat on it. Also a tip is instead of using it this way, so the bed head bit shows upwards, I use the bed head going downwards. Just so then where it curls, it goes in instead of curling and then flicks up. 
Then you basically pop it on like that. Just a few seconds. Rip it up and then you'll be able to feel the hair like dipping in to the curl. And then just keep doing that all the way down. the waves at the minute are quite defined so that will drop out um, ever so slightly but not drop out to where it's you know flat <laughs> so I'm just starting on this side here if you did see some smoke before my hair is slightly damp just because I went in the shower before dropping my daughter off at school and literally just let it dry, like air dry when I went there because it's so warm it just dried the majority of it so I'm just going to exactly the same on this side that I did on that side so just bring it up into a few sections
you're down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. Oh, we are finished um i'm just gonna give it a bit of spray with hairspray it took me about half an hour to do so it's not long at all in the morning i do use a different product to keep it together but um, when i first done it i don't mind it dropping slightly so i just pop the end of hairspray and then what i do it's because this part here um, gets in my way. I usually um, get it like that. Just so it's out of my face. And just. What I'll do is I'll also link my um, How I Keep My Hair Color So Bright and Vibrant. Up in the i cards, I get a lot of questions about that, so I thought I'll put that up there as well. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to show you tomorrow because tomorrow I use a different product and things on my hair to keep it like this, and it will look a little bit different to what it does today. Um, so, yeah, I will show you what I do tomorrow. Good morning, um, so I'm just getting ready, and this is my hair this morning. I have not brushed it. I haven't put any product on, the only thing I've done is kind of like readjusted my clip because it's half full, you know. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, the curls, well the waves are still very, very, very nice. So what I tend to do is because my hair don't get buggy up here, it tends to be low here and to keep the wave, I um, just brush the ends. So from like here downwards. I've done that. The curls are still in, um, but slightly puffy. I use this it's called Catwalk. Um, it's a, a curl amplifier because my hair's slightly wavy. Sometimes when I've come out the shower, my hair's still damp. I usually put this on, and what it does is it keeps my curls in and keeps them separated. Um, so it's it's meant to be for wet hair, but I found to keep like the waves in and to separate them because obviously it's quite fluffy here but it's nice and separated at the top um, I use this so I'm only going to be using two pumps and then I just it does make your hands a little bit sticky it's just, just like gel and then um, just kind of lightly just go like that on my hair just to get rid of the mane because sometimes if you add a big chunk of it and it goes on one bit it makes the hair so hard <laughs> and I just pop it on there as well to keep my clip and then when I've not got that much left on my hand over, let me and get the ends. And then what I'll do is tomorrow I'll just do the exact same thing. But I love that it's like little effort whatsoever. There we go. My hair's all ready for another day. And it actually just took me a couple of minutes. <laughs> I love having my hair like this, even though it takes like 20 minutes, half an hour to do, it lasts for days without me even like doing much with it whatsoever. So yes, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't, forget to, bleh, don't forget to subscribe if you are new and press that notification bell. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye!